like I said, I mean, it should be a great battle between both guys. I mean, every coach knows every coach. So. Mm -hmm. What do you remember about going up against Aubrey Solomon in high school? Um, great hands, great feet, uh, good body type guy. Uh, he's a very good player. Was that a big matchup for you back then? And what was yeah, he like I to say? say so. Yeah, high school. Yeah. Uh, what about what they're doing on, on defense and his? He kind of transferred there this year, you know, and, and the matchup for you this week. Uh, yeah, it's a good matchup. Uh, see, I mean, they hold D line pretty good from what I've seen, and they run like typical type of defense that we. Uh, so. Trayvon Lamont went down against Kentucky last year. What do you remember about going into that game and kind of how Coach Pittman had you prepared to kind of just come in from Lamont? Yeah, um, just, I mean, adrenaline rush, really. Uh, just remembering everything, knowing the calls as a young freshman and just going out there and being me. As banged up as you guys have been through the first four games, what has it been like kind of shuffling guys in and out in different spots and kind of still trying to perform at that high level? I think uh, this will be, uh, this will be good that we got depth. And uh, whoever gets in, I think they should play like they're the ones all the time. With all the SEC games you guys got, uh, is that where you really got to see that depth coming forth from this team? It was different. It was different. You saw that Notre Dame had so much problems with the crowd noise here. Uh, you know, when you go to that environment in Tennessee, you know, uh, as a starting center, how much uh, pressure does that put on you? Or, or uh, you know, do you feel well adjusted for that? I wouldn't say a lot. You, know, you just have to lock in, like the whole game. Know what you're doing at times, and just make sure you hear the cadence. Y'all have had a lot of success against SEC East teams, and you've already beaten Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt this year. What, why have you? What do you think it's been? What, what is attributed to that? Why have y'all been so successful in your division? Uh, I think our preparation and the way we practice. Uh, our Tuesday, Wednesday practice, like just going hard each and every day. How much after during the summer do you work with Jake as far as your, your snaps and all that kind of thing? Uh, I try to do it every day. We have seven on seven, just extra snaps, extra framework. And just looking at things that can get better at each other. What area of your game do you think is improving most in right now? Uh, overall, I think just my overall game improved. I mean, I don't got a specific spot. I think just the whole game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like making calls, calling the mic linebacker, that was kind of second nature to you right now. Yeah. That was a kind of, it wasn't snapping kind of an issue for you uh, when you first started playing that position here? And, and how much, you know, I don't, I don't remember it being, uh, I don't think you've had any error in snaps this year, have you? No, I wouldn't say it was a problem. I mean, it was just a mental error at that point. I mean, but, you know, live and learn, just got better. How many times do you think uh, between January and, and September did you snap the ball to Jake? Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> Big number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever hear about, I mean, that this all-time series is 23-23, so whoever wins will take the lead in the series. Do you ever hear from people about wanting to beat Tennessee? Because there have been times, like Kirby never beat Tennessee. There have been times where Tennessee has owned Georgia, so I just didn't know if you heard of uh, I really heard much talk about it. I mean, we really ain't trying to get to all that. Mm -hmm. You know, just focus on them and just lock in on them. Have you talked to Kate or Eli at all about what it's like going up in Knoxville? Uh, not really, no, I haven't. When you grow up against this defense, what, what do you see, you see as, uh, any major changes or even minor changes with uh, Dan Lanning has implemented? Uh, the Georgia defense, when you grow up against them in practice. The Georgia defense, have you seen any, any minor changes from uh, on the, like a, maybe a schematic stand, standpoint from Dan Lanning? Um, uh, I mean, a little bit. A little more blitzes, stuff like that. Very. People were wondering, you know, y'all had your quarterback back, DeAndre was back, the offensive line, but people were wondering what these receivers were going to be like. A, a kid like Dominic Blaylock, I mean, did you know from the get-go, could you tell that he was going to be pretty good? And, and what have you thought of him so far? Yes, uh, just from recruiting and stuff and the way he just approached, like, each and every day, like, in the summer when he first got in here, it just showed that the kid was, like, he was ready and locked in, ready to go to work. When somebody says Tennessee football, what comes to mind? I just think about the Vols because they recruited me. <laughs> what about yeah. the Vols? Uh, I mean, it's a nice place up there. I mean, uh, great coaching staff. They recruited me. They recruited me hard. Was friend there? Uh, I don't think so. It was. It was, pre was it the previous staff? Yeah, I think okay. So. Did they want you to be a center there too? Uh, it was actually about guard. Guard. Yeah. What about the most teams? Uh, I mean, how many other teams do you think wanted you to play the position you're at now? Uh, probably a lot. I mean, I mean, just had to go. Up. I mean, come in there and just do the job and try to win the job. So.
with Kid Miz, he you know sort of gets after it. Has sort of a nasty demeanor on the field on Saturdays. How sort of apparent and how much do you sort of see that same attitude during practice going against going up against Georgia's defensive line? But yeah, each and every day. I mean, he brings it each and every day, and our whole line just try to do the same as he do each and every day. What do you think this game means to Cade Mays? Uh, I think it means a lot. I mean, just doing his own time, improve here, improve the city, and uh, basically it. I see a guy, you think they can like, keep his emotions in check, or you think uh, you know, he'll be kind of pretty jacked up to, to play in that stadium and, you know, in his hometown? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it'll be a live atmosphere, but I don't think he'll, you know, have, it'll be too big on him. I mean, he'll just shoot like a regular game.